Sorry about the shaky camera work. Before we check the rear tires, I want to check the front tires. Again, I had a tirade about the Discount Tire Center and how they didn't check my uh, valve stems to make sure that the valve stems were even tight to not allow air to release. The driver's side tire had no air whatsoever, and when I filled it up, it blew air back out at me. They didn't check the valve stem on the driver's side outside rear tire, causing me to drive on minimal air at best for a long period of time. And then when I got up here to the mountains, it completely emptied itself. So I have rectified that problem. I will check it every, every probably, well, every time I stop basically and make sure that it continued to hold air. But I dealt with that four times while in town, driving back and forth to the stupid tire shop and telling them the tires aren't holding air. These are brand spanking new tires. No reason whatsoever, with brand spanking new Schrader valves, at least they should be, no reason whatsoever for this to happen. But these people could not get it right four times. All right, so I'm taking off this wheel cover. You have to use a very large screwdriver. Get behind the wheel cover gently it makes a horrible noise but if you pry gently enough you can get it off I'm going to remove my valve stem covers take my little handy dandy checking tool and check to see push the tool all the way in so you get an accurate reading check to see if this is at 70 pressure then I'll be okay exactly 70 so we're looking good. I'll put my valve stem back on, something I need to do in the front of the motorhome. Put my wheel cover back on. Making sure to evenly space out my punches. I lost another one of my little plastic fake lug nuts. Oh well, I'll either get more or I'll just be toothless. I'm going to put the valve stem covers back on the front of the motorhome. Again, the Schrader checking Schrader valve just screws on the same way that you would screw on a normal valve stem cover. I've got the other one. Right there. All right, off to check the rear tires. Whew. Once again, big screwdriver. Get it in between the tire and the wheel cover and apply gentle pressure. This time I'm going to catch. wheel cover so as not to lose any more of my lug nuts and check out my pressure. Remove your valve stem covers. This by the way is the side that I had trouble with in town so we'll see if anything they did on this side was good. Very possibly all they did was take the tire from this side and move it to the other side and make me think that they had done something. We're holding about 65 pressure there. Oh, if you notice the nut that holds this valve stem to the actual plate that holds the valve stem extender on was loosey-goosey. That could happen because of road vibration. I can't blame that on them. Checking one more time. We're at about 55 pressure, so the outside tire needs to be raised. I'll bring my brother-in-law's air compressor over there. Ooh. By the way, don't stand up quick when you're in high altitudes if you're not used to it. Three times now I've stood up and felt like I was going to pass out. <laughs> Breathe deeply. So, I'll apply the air. You can hear the air entering the tire. I'm going to count to about 10 and that'll go from 50 to 90. One, Two, three, four, five, six, seven. I forgot that the bottom one actually had 66. Oh, this is the outer tire. Let's check it again anyways. I stopped at seven. 
We have 70 pounds pressure here. I'm gonna count to about four and get 75. One, two, three, four. Checking, everything's in, checking. Pretty good, I'm gonna give it another two, two seconds. One, two. All right, now the top one, or the inside one was 55, so we're gonna hold that for about 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, for good measure. And check and see where that sits. We're pushed in. Wow, we still only have about sixty, so we have to fill that one up. This is the inside tire. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight. 29, 30. Let's see, I'll push in my pressure valve. And check it once again, what about 70 pounds? I wanna be at about 75, so I'm gonna give it about 15 more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. All right, let me check, we're pushed in. We're right at 71. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. If that didn't get us to 75, I don't know what will. That looks good to me. We're a little low on the bottom still. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, by the way, these tires are rated at 80 pounds pressure, so I'm setting them at 75 pounds pressure for the sake of having some leeway. We're even. All right, so the tires on the rear are done. Put your valve stem covers on. You notice that these are the plastic black valve stem covers you see on most normal vehicles. No need for any fancy work here. I have the Schrader valve checkers on the front. I can use those on any one of the valve stems throughout the whole motorhome. Apply even pounding to all of the sides of your hubcap. Otherwise, if you don't, ooh, there it is again. Give it a second to catch up. Ooh, dizzy. If you don't apply even pressure to the hubcaps when you're driving down the road, if you hit a bump, they'll pop off and you'll lose them. I've removed the valve stem cover. This is the rear uh, air shock fill. I'm gonna check it real quick with this valve stem. If you notice, no movement. Zero pounds, they're supposed to be at 90 pounds back here. Here, while I do that, I wanna show you how much the motorhome rises. Take a look at the motorhome, not me. Right about there, watch and see how much it rises. That's just a little bit of pressure. All right, let me check. We're at about 85, I would say. That's perfect, I'm gonna put the valve stem back on and I should be close to being on my way.
All tools go back in their proper location. I hope you enjoyed the view of my feet and the process of getting the motorhome ready for a long travel home. <laughs>